Hello, so um, I have uh, an eBay unboxing. It is, um, I don't even really know the name. It was just one of those things that like was kind of calling to me. And um, to me, it looked like either a, a Lenchi or a Catacruza. And I don't think it's either, um, but it did have kind of that like neutral face look. And I just, um, a lot of people were bidding on it and I just uh, thought it was, cool so I've been on it and I want it so um gonna be unboxing that and since then I've actually gotten um uh Keita Cruza and I did an opening for it so if I find a Lynchy um I might end up selling this but I don't know we'll have to see like I might really like it and I might not find a Lynchy so um but I do see a lot of um Lunchies that are like newer, um, but like the KT Cruz and really like anything, I like older uh, stuff better. I just think it, I don't know, it just looks cooler to me. So, um, you see how that goes. It's small, which I like. I'm starting to understand why so many people uh, prefer smaller dolls. I can see little feet. That's my favorite when I open it. I can see like little feet. Packed pretty well. Ugh. It's that um, motorcycle season again. Big bubble wrap. It's a, it was really lightweight. Um, the whole package was a really lightweight. Oh, it's so light. This is cool. Wow. So yeah, she has a little um, felt outfit. I'm not, I didn't even look at the, I don't like to look at the listings um, before I open it. But yeah, there's something interesting about her and I don't, I think it's like her face that I like. Um, I can't even really tell what it's made of. It's not porcelain, um, but it feels a little bit harder than like the vintage Cata Cruza. It's like maybe a little bit heavier than that. Um, I'm just in awe at how like lightweight this body is and seems like everything's held up really well. There are no marks on her legs, maybe some on her hand. Um, and I'm fine with that. Like with old dolls, I don't like care as much if it's in perfect condition. Um, I might wash her little hat cause it's kind of dirty, but um, I love this felt outfit. And let me see if I can, there are any clues on her body. Oh yeah. This is what I liked. I liked, um, try not to be rough with her. She's kind of fragile. Um, I liked this, uh, screw like hand. This is what reminded me of, um, the Catacruza bodies. So this is a felt dress, still nice and soft, but I might have to wash it and, uh, 
some something really gentle. Um, just little thing, bloomers, I guess. But yeah, I know there were a lot of imitators. Um, and I think they said it was, I can't even remember, they said the decade that they thought it was from, but uh, I'll have to look at the listing again. It might have been like 20s or 30s or something. Um, but she's in really good shape if it seemed like her body might be newer than that or else she was just like kept pristinely. But um, yeah, I kind of love these like mystery dolls where you don't, no, she doesn't smell or anything. Um, there's like a little mark on her head, but it's kind of coming off. Um, but yeah, I'm sure she's probably just an imitator of those two brands, but um, I do kind of like her. It looks like she has mohair. Uh, and then it looks like it's glued onto her head. Yeah, if anyone knows anything about this, maybe there's something on her foot. Sorry, just putting you down here. No, it's just a really nicely stitched body. And, um, I like it and I love the neutral expression. She's just kind of gonna be my little, uh, mystery doll. She's, I just can't get over how, like, lightweight this is. It's lighter than, like, the foam that was in the Catacruza and... I wonder, I kind of want to know what's inside, but I'm not going to open it. She doesn't smell bad at all. That's amazing. But yeah, I am happy with this. I like it. And um, she's really cool. I like her. And I like, I like these hands, the style where it like it's bent and then um, they sew the fingers on. And she can kind of wave, which is cool. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, I might have some new things soon. I just sent away for some things. So, uh, I might have some new unboxings in the future. Thanks for watching.